when you are approached by Mr. Dick. So, this was a really, really funny story that I guys want to share with you. Um, I was at a huge event. Um, it, was, uh, it was a professional event. And, um, well, for those of you who actually don't know, I do love cars, okay? I am crazy about cars. Um, so I do drive a quite nice sports red car, which is um, quite nice, I would say. It's also fairly new. I mean, at the time when this uh, story happened, my car was, um, well, let's say about um, just just over one year old, basically. So it was almost as brand new. Anyway, the brand of the car that I drive is not very common in England um, and in London as well. So um, this Mr. Dick, who was actually trying to chat me up, you know, he, he was actually driving a BMW, which, um, which was quite old, you know. I would say, if I remember it correctly, it was at least 10 years old car, you know, which obviously living in London for many years and uh, driving a 10 year old car is like, I don't know, <laughs> for me, it's uh, basically driving a worthless car. Anyway, regardless of that, um, he really wanted to chat me up and he was like showing off and then he was asking me, oh, whose car is this? I said, oh, it's mine. He said, oh, is it not your husband's? So he wanted to find out whether I was single or not, right? And I was like, oh, no, but uh, my husband helped me to get the car, you know, because <laughs> he works for the same company. So uh, uh, he helped me to get this car, you know, which is um, quite nice. Yeah. But I said, no, if you want to know whether I'm single, I am, you know. Anyway, his face lit up when I said I'm single. Nonetheless, I would never ever go for a guy like him. I don't care whether he drove a Ferrari, a Lamborghini or a 10-year-old car BMW, which was one of the very, very simple ones, you know. I mean, come on, he didn't even have leather seats, yeah? So... I mean, I drive a sports car, it's leather seat, um, semi-automatic, semi-sport, and, you know, I love racing as well, so, and, but nonetheless, the only reason why he was, he was then, um, you know, kind of looking at my car and telling me that, oh, this car is not for you, it's because the dig head wasn't aware of the brand anyway he never even knew about the brand because i then asked him um i said oh because oh because he was he was telling me oh this car is not for you and i was like why would you say this car is not for me why it doesn't suit me and then he was like yeah well you you deserve a better car and then i say to him Oh, show me your car. Then he did. And I was like, oh, well, oh, is that what you drive? He said, yes, of course, it's BMW. I was like, okay. And then I asked him, well, do you know what, what type of car I'm driving? Are you aware of the brand I'm driving? By the way, my car is Infiniti Q50, yeah? The semi-sport one, red in color. It's quite nice. I believe he never heard of it and um, it was quite fun actually because I was teasing him then. I said, well, I said, well, you don't know about these type of cars? They're, they're, they're quite nice, you know, not because it's mine, but they are nice. And I genuinely mean that, that my car is quite nice. And then he was like, yeah, but come on, you deserve something more classy. And I looked at him and I said, 
well, how about this? I've got to go now because I'm quite tired because of the event. It was quite long and there was lots of people there. So I say to him, how about this? Um, <laughs> how about this? When you can get me the car that I deserve, how about you let me know? So, and then I'll give you back this and you can give me the better car. Yeah, the one that I deserve. Do you agree with that? And he just shut up. 